Alcohol is one of the top beverages consumed worldwide. On average, 80% of Canadians consume approximately 25 drinks per month, and the greatest level of drinking is recorded to be among young adults. Alcohol's origin dates back to as early as 7,000 BC in China and 3,000 to 2,000 BC in India, where a beverage known as sura, distilled from rice, was frequently consumed by members of society. Alcohol is largely consumed for recreational purposes, during social gatherings and celebratory events. However, does this make it permissible to drink on a frequent basis? What composes an alcoholic drink? Alcoholic beverages are mainly comprised of ethanol, which is generated through the fermentation of sugars. This process occurs when yeast breaks down sugar into two products, alcohol and carbon dioxide. What's interesting about ethanol is that it allows for a feeling of euphoria at low dosages and reduces levels of anxiety. However, with increased amounts, an individual experiences intoxication and possible unconsciousness. Alcohol can be further divided into three subtypes, beer, wine, or spirits. Beer is produced through a process of brewing involving the fermentation of starches, mainly extracted from cereal grains such as malted barley. One drink of beer is typically 12 ounces or one small can of 5% alcohol. Wine, on the other hand, is formed from the fermentation of fruits, typically grapes, without the usage of sugars, acids, enzymes, water, or other nutrients. One serving of wine is recorded at 5 fluid ounces of 12% alcohol. Spirits, including tequila, gin, or vodka, are created from the distillation of a mixture generated through alcoholic fermentation. One serving includes one shot, or 1.5 fluid ounces of 40% alcohol. Alcohol is consumed for various reasons, including alleviating stress and experiencing feelings of pleasure and disorientation. Alcohol consumption has become socially acceptable for adolescents as a means of self-exploration and transition. However, many short-term and long-term side effects exist with various levels of consumption. Immediate implications of alcohol consumption include slurred speech, drowsiness, vomiting, headaches, difficulty breathing, distorted vision and hearing, impaired judgment, decreased perception and coordination, and possible blackouts, where a person experiences memory lapse and doesn't remember events while under the influence of alcohol. There are several long-term effects of heavy consumption including various cancers, alcohol-related brain injury, hypertension, and stroke. The most predominant long-term effect of alcohol consumption is cirrhosis and liver failure. Cirrhosis is a condition that develops when scarred tissue replaces healthy tissue of the liver. It occurs when healthy cells of the liver are constantly damaged over a period of time, usually many years because of alcohol consumption. As a result, scarred liver tissue becomes hardened and lumpy and prevents the flow of blood through the large vein known as the portal vein into the liver. Yip A. All outlined how excessive alcohol consumption can lead to the cirrhosis of the liver. Over time, nodules fail to form due to the impaired division of cells in the liver. This consequently leads to distortion of the liver and the presence of portal hypertension, which is increased blood pressure within a system of the veins. Due to lack of cell division and the constant process of cell death, there is a drastic reduction in liver cells. As a result, Liver cirrhosis is established and can further lead to complete failure of the organ. Other evidence suggests a role of alcoholism in economic and social distress. Burke suggested that up to 50% of all emergency room admissions are alcohol related and healthcare costs for a family with an alcoholic member is twice as much as compared to one without. Alcohol consumption has been shown to be more prevalent among underaged individuals especially in families where one or both parents are involved with excessive consumption. How can you identify if you or someone you know may have a drinking problem? Some signs include an increase in the individual's drinking, drinking in the morning, and drinking in non-social settings. There could also be changes in appearance, where a person constantly smells like alcohol, has slurred speech, bruises, and possibly red eyes. Other signs include mood swings, irritability, sleeping problems, memory loss, fatigue, and shaky hands. If a problem exists, how does one stay safe? 
Various resources are available to help prevent risk and assist in aiding problems with alcohol consumption. McMaster University has developed a website dedicated to advising individuals on drinking responsibly. For example, a common practice among undergraduate students is binge drinking, or where a person consumes more than five drinks in a row. To avoid the problems associated with binge drinking, McMaster has recommended several safety measures, including not to plan physical or potentially dangerous activities such as swimming while alcohol is being consumed, when hosting a party, provide plenty of non-alcoholic beverages and food for the guests, and stop serving alcohol well before the party ends. Don't drink on an empty stomach. Pace yourself. Plan for a designated driver. And know your tolerance level. This video highlights various short and long-term effects associated with drinking. Although abstinence would be the best option to prevent the harmful effects of alcohol consumption, there are various methods to help decrease the consumption to an acceptable level. If you or someone you know may have a serious drinking problem, contact your local physician for resources or visit Alcoholics Anonymous at www.aa.org to find a help center near you. Have fun and drink responsibly.